All right, as we continue to wait for some uh, reaction from the White House on what's just wrapped up on Capitol Hill, that meeting where the leadership of the GOP in the House, including the, the, uh, the Speaker, John Boehner, uh, effectively laying out the plan, the offer of a six-week break to raise the debt limit, talk, not open the government, not fund the government, don't get a, a continuing resolution out of this, but at least talk and get to the next deadline without blowing through our debt ceiling and defaulting on our debts. So while that is sort of uh, germinating throughout those uh, in, in the White House, um, we're waiting for their reaction. Wouldn't it be really nice to be able to hear someone actually stand up in Congress and just speak from the heart? Somebody like guided by faith and conscience? maybe guided by principle and not the partisan talking points and the line of the day or the hashtag. There is someone exactly like that. You're about to hear from him, but with the caveat, he's not a member. Have a listen. Deliver us from the hypocrisy of attempting to sound reasonable while being unreasonable. Forgive them for the blunders they have committed, infusing them with the courage to admit and correct mistakes. Today, give our lawmakers the vision and the willingness, remove from them that stubborn pride which imagines itself to be above and beyond criticism. Lord, deliver us from governing by crisis. It's time for our lawmakers to say enough is enough. We pray in your merciful name. Amen. 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 Oh, man, I'm going to add one to that. Here he is live, the, uh, the chaplain of the United States Senate, retired Navy Admiral Barry Black. Uh, chaplain, thank you, thank you, thank you for saying these things. I wish they had more of an effect. I want to ask you if you are able to counsel regularly individual members about the kind of language they use, the kind of blame they throw around, and the personal responsibility they do not take, especially when they use words like terrorist and hostage and gun to their heads. How do you operate in the halls of Congress with these people? Well, I teach a Bible study for senators on a weekly basis. I also interact regularly with, with senators at a weekly prayer breakfast. If I were talking to them about the power of words, I would tell them first that words have consequences. Uh, Proverbs 18:21 says, the power of life and death is in the tongue. I would also tell them that how you say something is as important as what you say. Uh, Proverbs 15.1 says, a soft answer turns away anger. So I would encourage them to be responsible stewards of their verbiage. Chaplain Black, are you hopeful that, um, I mean, you saw we had an overture today. Are you hopeful we're going to get anywhere? Are you hopeful we're going to get out of this crisis without...